this is just the roadway section and we're going to be looking at the left side so it looks like that can remain as existing and then I think once we get pretty close in let's say yeah let's say about station A118 we'll begin our our proposed section so it looks like here we might be able to add in a little buffer section and and match this um this existing section and so I guess we'll run the proposed ditch section from this point all the way to the end um okay so to do that let's go ahead and draw in our horizontal ditch geometry first um so I'm going to be using both the dynamic cross sections and also the contours on the terrain so to do that I'm going to select the terrain go over here to the properties do some override symbology and turn on the contours for a second here okay and so now I'm going to set up my feature definition toolbar so I like this is makes things a little bit easier here so I'll go ahead and select my ditch bottom center feature definition and go ahead and turn on the chain command as well now for the tool I want to use under the geometry tab I want to use the horizontal line between points I'm going to select that and then before I actually start drawing these lines I'm just going to go ahead just to keep everything organized call these lines L ditch 01 so I know they all are part of that L ditch or the left ditch section okay so I can see the existing ditch here starts at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and left click here. So even though I'm clicking in the dynamic cross section, since I have a horizontal geometry line tool selected, it'll start drawing a horizontal geometry line down here. I guess from here I'll go ahead and follow the contours. You can kind of see that the ditch follows this section through here. So I'll go ahead and select this here make sure to cross the culvert and then come back up so here I'm following the contours and then I think there's a section further along here I don't really know where the ditch goes so to make it easier on myself I'll go back into my dynamic cross section move this over to where I can really see that ditch Okay, see, so I probably lost it because it's really close to that roadway corridor. So I'll go back into my plan view, click on where I left off the ditch um, horizontal geometry, and select that bottom of the ditch there. I guess I'll continue to use those dynamic cross sections to select the ditch as we move through here. And then all the way up to the end. Okay, let's do one last point up to here. Awesome. So I'll right click to snap out or to snap out of the chain command and then I'll hit escape to finish or end the tool. And then let me turn off the contours from the terrain so I can see what I've drawn for the horizontal geometry. And turn off the override symbology from the terrain. And as you can see I've drawn this horizontal geometry here. Uh, so before I move into the profile view, I want to make sure that it's a uh, one single line. So I'm going to go ahead and complex it. I'm going to go up to my geometry tab, horizontal tool or group, and select complex geometry, complex by element tool, and then give it a name. Ditch underscore one. Prompt asks me to select first element. Make sure to the direction is in the correct way. Okay, so now it's I can see that I've highlighted the entire a length that I want for my proposed ditch section, and to accept the complex, I'm going to left click.